I think we're recording there. Oh, I was trying to row in last night, a couple of hours, could, just didn't get anywhere. Tried to row today, uh, did two or three hours, but I was getting nowhere. <laughs> this weather is testing. I mean, that, that's the word I've been using. It's testing me. It's testing my mental attitude, and my mental behaviour. I probably didn't realise when I took it on how long, uh, well, it might take me 80 days, uh, it's going to be. Um, I've been out here six, seven days, and that already feels long. Three months was the outside for this, this sort of trip, but I really didn't think it'd take three months, but it's looking like there's a possibility there with the weather. It's quite hard to comprehend how long a month is alone, for a start, and to think you might have two more months still to go. It's like mind-blowing really. My main goal is to get across the Atlantic safe and in one piece. This is my my little ambition, my little dream and I don't care if I do it in 200 days or 50 days. You know, it's, uh, it's just for me. It doesn't matter how good a rower you are, how good a boat you've got. If you haven't got the weather, you haven't got the weather. You will just be a, a pawn in God's game of chess because uh, you just go where you put. So this is uh, <laughs> with Atlantic. I'll be leaving two days time, there's an easterly coming in at 35 knots. Watch this space because that's going to be a rough couple of days. Atlantic rain. Horrendous. I don't mind, I mean, I secretly. It's a secret, don't tell anybody. I quite like them as well. It's more testing. Testing mental character. I'm not going mad on this thing. Good experience. Been fantastic. Yeah, what I've seen, what I've been part of. Wouldn't have, uh, wouldn't have missed it for the world. It's felt long on a dark day. It's felt like never ending, but uh, you get through it. You find some strength somewhere. I don't know where. Um, and then. You start rowing again. <laughs> sleep, you row. You sleep, you row. And you eat in between. Row, row, row your boat, then. <laughs> People say to me, why, you know, why cross an ocean? Um, there's, no, there's no one answer. But I think there's a good part of it that says it, in this day and age, especially, you can actually feel a part of nature. You've not got an engine or you haven't got this or that. It's, you're just with nature. It's quiet. You know, I've got a fish tank here. I've got sharks. I've got whales. I've got birds. Today we've got perfect weather. Perfect winds. Which is... Uh, really good from what has been happening. What's my view tonight? Westward bound, eh? Towards the setting sun. Does it get any better? Yes, because in this bowl here, we have Popeye. 